Hi, it's me again with Kirill Roll Tips and Tricks. And while that other video was loading about reducing nodes from 1146 to 559, I just started thinking, and I've done many of videos of that if you put P and put this, because this wolf face is symmetrical, this will really work if you take a two point line holding down the control button. And then if you hit P, we can delete one side of this wolf completely. And by doing that, we're getting a lot of, when we go back here and go through our nodes and delete our nodes, uh, one, we're going to keep it symmetrical, and two, we're going to, uh, so just, just bear with me a little bit. I'm going to go through and delete some nodes. Now, we screwed, messed it up, but we can take our handle and put it right back. And you, you know, really, if, depending on what the look you wanted, that would look good enough. I'm not going to do a lot of these, but just some ones that you could get away with and remember, and this would also help you remember I, we had some nodes that were too close to the other nodes. Um, and especially if you're a plasma cutter, you, you know, the less nodes and less turning that are real close together. So I've just done a few here. Let's get rid of that one. That didn't change much. Uh, you can really, when you back up, you can see nodes that are on top of each other, which are basically so close together. You know, you are going to change the drawing a little bit, but is it noticeable? You know, we just, I just showed a while ago that it, you can't really even tell on some of them. So I haven't even spent any time. Like, there's three nodes right there we can get rid of. So I'm not even going to really look for any more. I'm going to delete that one. You know, we can go and still make those kind of a curve apart. We can get rid of that one. We could get rid of that one, but if you mess up, just go like that. Just change it, you know, you know, and then that's too close to the other one. So then when you're done with that, just take your line away. And then I would control G to group it together, but then control D to duplicate it while holding down the control button. Take that right there and move it over. And then just kind of double check your your joints and you're still good. Now, as always, I would take a rectangle tool in case we have a leak, and we're going to take the smart fill tool. <clears throat> and even though this isn't going to really work because there's so many uh, facets, I actually was helping somebody the other day and got it set on white. And I don't want to, I don't want an outline. Well, no outline. So there you have it now. If we move this out of the way and left click, no fill and right click outline. Remember we have 500, started off at 1146 and I didn't do that much work on it. We're gonna grab it, grab the shape tool. And now we have a magical 532. We reduced it, you know, by almost 30 nodes in just a few and our and our wolf is is symmetrical, and uh, which is that's a miss. You know, is that a good thing or a bad thing? You know, if you don't want it symmetrical, you could always move a few things on the other side just to make it look not symmetrical. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.